American Jury and Bulldog Nation, today's list is going to be the top five overlooked presidents. These are the presidents that are overlooked by historians, overlooked by you, overlooked by history, and did great things for this country. Number one, Grant. I sit back, I have read plenty of biographies on Grant. I have studied Grant, I've watched documentaries on Grant. I could speak for an hour without notes, as I like to say, about Grant. General Grant became President of the United States after Andrew Johnson for eight years. And his strength, his popularity, helped keep this country together. They make this big deal about, like, oh, that there was some corruption during his presidency with his Secretary of Interior and his son-in-law and all these other types of things. Folks, I'm telling you right now, that pales, pales compared to the corruption today. And it also doesn't vitiate any of the strength. Thank God we had General Grant for eight years. And you know what he did? I mean, some of the things, you know, finishing a transcontinental railroad, he had to deal with the Indians, he had to deal with the Western, so he had to deal with, by the way, he sent federal troops down to the South to protect the free slaves. Unfortunately, under the political pressure of the Democrats, he actually also removed those troops, unfortunately. But Grant is an overlooked president. Number four, Eisenhower. Again, just like Grant gave us eight years of strength after the Civil War, Eisenhower gave us eight years of strength for the Cold War. Are you kidding me? General Eisenhower in there after World War II? Do you think that the Russians decided, the Soviet Union decided, well, we better leave them alone because Ike's there? And what did he warn us about? He warned us about the military establishment. Look what's happened along those lines. He created the interstate highway system. Can you imagine? I mean, just think about not having that. Look what that did for our economy and travel, everything, the interstate commerce, him, NATO. I mean, on and on, the integration of the uh, armed forces. He ended segregation of the armed forces. On and on and on. NASA, the beginning of NASA. Eisenhower, so overlooked. Also overlooked, Andrew Jackson. Why? Because Andrew Jackson was the first president from the, what was, perceived, what was the West then, Tennessee. Andrew Jackson brought a populism to the presidency. Andrew Jackson also, strong leader, a general, eight years. And I love to mock the Democrats with this and the Republicans. He took on the National Bank. And guess who the last president was who left office with zero debt? That's right, President Jackson. Our country had zero debt when he left office. It's never happened again. Overlook number two, Harry Truman. Roger and I spoke about him for a while yesterday, so I won't have to repeat it all, but Harry Truman was an incredible president thrown in to the mix after FDR. And what a job. He finished that term, did another term. Outstanding president. By the way, Roger was mistaken. He was not, he was not taken out by the Korean War. He didn't run again. Truman never lost a presidential election. So ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, there you have it. And another four great presidents, but the most overlooked president of all time, I think, is James Polk. I say, Polk? What did Polk do? What are you talking about, Polk? Well, here's what Polk did. Polk was a rare bird. First off, he was a Jacksonian. He was from Tennessee. But Polk did something that nobody else has ever done, really. He wanted one term. He only did one term. He didn't run for re-election by choice. He did one term. And guess what he did in one term? Albite. He kind of started the Mexican War. He did. But you know what? The Mexican War, when it came to pass in 1848, guess what we had? We had all of the Mexican territory, all the Texas territory, and all of California. And what happened a year after that? 
1849, the gold rush. So ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, it is forgotten just like Thomas Jefferson did the Louisiana Purchase. Polk took our country all the way to the West Coast. He gave us California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, on and on and on. That's why Polk should not be forgotten. So there you have it, folks. The top five most overlooked presidents, in my opinion. Now let's give a giveaway away. Yeah, That baby. sounded weird, didn't it? Let's give a giveaway away, but let's give a giveaway away. All right, drum roll, please. Remember, you got to subscribe to the Bulldog channel and the Bulldog, excuse me, the Bulldog show on YouTube, and then you are qualified to win these prizes. Today's winner of a $50 gift certificate from the Greyhound Tavern is... Danielle Smith. Woo! Congratulations, Danielle. And you can contact me at 859-250-2527 or email me at eric at ericdeters.com and a member of my crack staff will make sure that you get your $50 gift certificate from the Greyhound Tavern. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the Bulldog Show and hit that bell so you'll be alerted when I do other videos. Last but not least, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you.